Hello everyone. Um, so today I'm going to do dosage calculation. And as you can see, uh, my camera is on my computer screen because I do not have the software or the equipment to be able to calculate it digitally. So I'm going to go from my computer screen to the table on my desktop here. I have a paper. I have my calculator here. So I'm going to work it this way. All right. Forgive me for that. Um, I'm hoping that in the near future, I'll be able to get the software where I can be able to work it out on, on the screen, on the digital screen for you to see. So this is coming by popular request. Um, some of the people in the comment section want to um, want me to do some dosage calculation. And this is, I'm taking my time to do some of them. Um, so I'm going to take some questions, sample questions that I have here. So I'm going to read the question, then I'll work it out on the paper on the table. So the first question says that the healthcare provider has ordered deltism or cardism, 120 milligram PO. The medication available is deltism, 30 milligram per scored tablet. How many tablets will the nurse administer? So they are looking for tablet. Your final results has to be in tablet. And then it says, if needed, round to the nearest whole number. All right. So always when you see a question, um, when you see a dosage calculation question, ask yourself, what are the, what is the final results? What is it that they're asking? In this, <clears throat> excuse me. So in this situation, they are looking for, in this particular question, they are looking for tablet. So your final result has to be in tablet. So always look for that first, that what is the, end product what is the end result that you are looking for are you looking for tablet are you looking for capsule are you looking for milliliters or milligram so look for what look in the question and look for the final thing they are seeking you to come up with all right so what are the values being given us it says that the doctor has prescribed 120 milligram but what is available is 30 milligram and it's in tablet. So I'm going to come to the table and I'll begin to work it out. All right. So this is my white table. All right. So I'm going to work it out here. So in working it out, um, I always want to put my available first. So the available is what? 20 no, the available is 30 milligram. Okay. But it's in tablet form. So anytime you know which, um, like I showed you that your answer is supposed to be in tablet form. So what is going to happen is that it says that 30 milligram tablet. Okay. 30 milligram tablets. All right. So, this is how you're going to write it in your calculation. You're going to write one tablet, one tablet over 30 milligram. This is how you present it. Okay, one tablet over 30 milligram. Why? Because the tablet is up because that is the one you are looking for. So always the one that is supposed to be the last result is the one you put up first. All right. So I will multiply it by what did the doctor order? 120. So 120 milligram over one. Okay. So that will be over one. So I'm going to cross out the similar unit, which is the milligram, because I don't need, I need it in tablet, not in milligram. So I will cross out the milligrams all right then what i do is that i will now um use my calculator 
Okay, so zero will cancel zero. Three into itself, one. Three into 12 is four. So if I use my calculator, 120 divided by 30 should give me what? Four. Therefore, four tablets is my answer. As you can see, four tablet is my answer. Okay, so the end result is going to be what? It's in tab, as the question said. And it said that run to the nearest whole number. It's already a whole number, so there's no rounding to be done here. All right, let's move on to the second question here. The second question says, the healthcare provider ordered phenobarbital 80 milligram PO. The medication available is phenobarbital 10 milligram per milliliter. How many milliliters will the nurse administer? So be, be mindful of what they are looking for. The end result it says, how many what? Milliliters. This is what they they are asking of you and it says if needed round to the nearest whole number so remember this so what they are looking for will always be at the top this is the available digits and this is what the doctor ordered okay so now let's bring it to the table and let's try to solve it all right i'll bring it to the table here so because what i'm looking for is the ml milliliter that's what i'm going to write first one milliliter over 10 milligram multiplied by what the doctor has ordered which is the 80 milligram over one so the milligram will cancel the milligram here and 80 divided by 10 zero will go into zero and then we're going to have 8 mls as the final answer. We're going to have 8 mls as the final answer. This is very simple. So we end up having that unit that is required as the last result, 8 mls. It says run it to the whole number. It's already a whole number, so there's no rounding to be done. Let's go, let's go to question number 3. All right. So question number three, it says the healthcare provider ordered metal, metoclopramide, which is called Reglan, 15 milligram IV every eight hours. The medication available is Reglan, five milligram ML. How many milliliters will the nurse administer per dose? So... You see that we are looking for milliliters or the ml and then it says round to the nearest whole number all right so let's come to the table and let's try to solve this okay so coming to the table so what do we already have we have one ml of five milligram then I'm multiplying by what is needed. The doctor ordered 15 milligram over one. So milligram will cancel milligram. Five into itself, one. Five into 15 is three. Therefore, the answer is three mLs. So you see, this type of dosage is very easy. So we ended up having the mL as our final results which is in the question what they are asking for all right let's move on we will come to more tough ones so let's come to the next question here all right okay so it says the healthcare provider ordered furosemide or lasix 20 milligram okay 20 milligram two times a day which is bid the medication available is furosemide 10 milligram ml how many milliliters will the nurse administer p 
per dose. So we are looking for what? ML. And then it says run to the nearest whole number. Okay. Run to the nearest whole number. All right. So our final answer should be in ML. Always remember that. The final answer should be in ML. So let's bring it down here and come and solve it on the table. Let's bring it down here and solve it on the table. So we have 1 ml over 10 milligram times what the doctor ordered is 20 milligram over 1. Milligram will cancel milligram. So we are left with 20, milli, uh, 20 ml over 1, uh, over 10, 0 to 0. And the answer is 2 ml. The answer is 2 ml. So these ones are very, very simple. All right. Let's keep going. Let's come to the next one. It says the healthcare provider ordered benzotropin or congentin 1.1 milligram IM. The medication available is benzotropin 2 milligram in 1 ml. How many milliliters will the nurse administer? And then our answer should be in milliliters. That's what they are looking for. If needed, round to the nearest tenth. So this one, pay attention to what it says. If needed, round to what? The nearest tenth. Okay. So you have to know your, your tenth place, your hundredth place. Okay. All right. So let's try to uh, do the calculation here. Um, 1 ml, 1 ml in 2 milligram times 1.1 milligram over 1, okay? Milligram cancel milligram. So now, we are going to calculate 1.1 divided by 2. 1.1 divided by 2, and our answer for that is 0 0.55 ml. Now, it says round to the nearest tenth. The nearest tenth, the first number here after the decimal is the, the tenth. The next one is the hundredth place. So, the nearest tenth, because the hundredth place, the digits on the hundredth place is 5. If it's 5 or more, then you are able to add one from it and add it to the tenth number, the, the digit in the tenth place. So it's going to be 0 0.6, 0 0.6 ml. We've rounded it to the tenth place. All right. When we say run to the tenth place, it means get rid of the rest of the, uh, the digits that follow after the tenth digit. Okay, so that's 0 0.6. All right, let's move on. Let's come here. The next question. It says the client the client has an order for Destro's five uh, lactated ringer. 1.5 liters. Pay attention to the unit. This is liters. To be infused over nine hours. At what rate will the nurse set the infusion? This time, what our final answer should be in ml over an hour, milliliters per hour. If needed, round to the nearest whole number. Always remember what they want your, uh, your last digits to be, either in whole number or to the tenth place. And this time, we are looking for mls per hour, milliliters per hour. And the digits given us is 1.5 liters over 9 hours. And so I want to encourage you that you need to learn how to convert your what from one unit to another. Okay. Now let's do it here. If I'm converting liters to milliliters, one liter is equal to or is equivalent to thousand milliliters. 
okay one liter is equivalent to thousand milliliters now with that in mind with this in mind let's come and solve it so what was given us 1.5 liters is what is given and it's running over nine hours okay nine hours all right now we need to get rid of the liters because our final answer has to be in ml per hour our final answer has to be in milliliters per hour we don't need it in liters so there has to be conversion okay because we want milliliters to be the answer when you are converting make sure that your ml your milliliter will always be up will always be on the as the numerator okay Always remember that uh, what the unit for your final answer has to be up. So when you are setting up your equation, make sure it's up. All right. So I'm going to do multiplication times. So a thousand ml has one liter in it. Okay. And we already has we already have the hours that did it here which is also needed in the final answer so there's no conversion of the hours only the liters that we need to convert so thousand ml is to one liter that's how you set it up so liter will cancel liter here and then we will still have our ml on top so it's going to be 1.5 times thousand divided by nine so let's do the calculation here. All right. A thousand ml times 1.5 will give me 1500. Will give me 1500. Thousand times 1.5 is 1500. Then over what? The nine hours. So 1500 ml over the nine hours okay all right so when you divide it by nine your answer is going to be 166.6666 a lot of six but what did the what did the instruction say it says run it to the nearest whole number so if i'm running it to the nearest whole number the digits after the decimal is bigger than five okay so i can add one from the tenth the tenth um place the number at the tenth place i will add one from it and then i will add it to this one here to make it a whole number so it's going to be 167 mls per hour so the solution the D5 lactate ringer is going to run 167 mLs per hour. I hope it makes sense to you. Put your comment below if it's not making sense to you. And I will make another video and explain it more and more till you get it. All right. Now, let's come to the next question here. It says, the healthcare provider or the thousand mls of IV fluids to infuse over nine hours. The available tubing delivers 15 drops, GTT means drops per ml, one ml, 15 drops per one ml. At what rate will the nurse set the infusion? They need the rate to be in drops per minute, drops per minute. Remember, this is the last unit that is required. If needed, run to the nearest whole number. So remember your last unit and remember the units given you. Do you need any conversion? Do you need to convert, uh, convert any digits? Always remember that. See, we have hours here, okay? And we need it in minutes. So there's going to be a time conversion. We have MLs here and we have MLs here. There will be no need for converting that. 
All right, so let's come to the table and solve this problem here. All right. So first thing I do is to write my 1,000 ml over 9 hours. Okay. You can also put the available the available uh, numbers that was given, but I'm starting with what is ordered. Okay, so what is ordered is 1,000 ml over 9 hours. The available is 15 drops over 1 ml. All right, so what we can do, we need it in minutes, so we have to convert this time here. So in converting... One hour is to 60 minutes. Okay. One hour is to 60 minutes. All right. So now we can do cancellation of the units that are common. So ML will cancel ML. This hour here will cancel this hour here. So we are going to end up with the drops, which is the GTT, and the minutes, which is what we needed what is needed okay all right so let's do the calculation thousand thousand times 15 will give us 15,000 so write your 15,000 drops and then divided by divided by okay 9 times 60 will give us 540 minutes. So you see, we end up with the unit that we need for our final results. All right. So what is going to happen? So 15,000, 15,000 divided by 4, 540. And that should give us 27.76. Seven seven a lot of sevens, but what did the question say? It said that we should run it to whole number. So what is happening is that we're going to take one from the tenth place and add it here. So that will give us twenty eight drops per minute as our final answer. Okay, twenty eight drops per minute as our final answer. I'm going to make more videos about this. I don't want the videos to be too long. So I hope you enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know whether you understood how I explained it. All right. Share and let's build this community together.